Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, and peace salutation to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Welcome to Muna Children Cultural Show. Muna Children Department works for children from all around USA by teaching Islam in a fun and intuitive way. This department focuses on children from kindergarten to fifth grade. Today's cultural show is presented by Muna Children Cultural Group. I am Wahiba Islam Rafia from Virginia Chapter. I'm in fifth grade and I will be moderating today's cultural show, inshallah. We will begin today's program with Quranic citation. I would like to request Raifa Tasnuba to recite some verses from the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Raifa Tasnuba and I will be reciting eight ayahs from Surah Mulk. I am in fourth grade and I am from New York, Jamaica. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan irrajim. Bismillahi rahman irrahim. Tabaraka alladhi biyadihi almulk. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin. قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan raifa tasnuba for your beautiful recitation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the Quran as a guidance and a mercy for the mankind. 
May Allah give us tawfiq to understand the Quran and enlighten our hearts with the light of the Quran. Let's learn a surah from the Quran. Abdullah al Munib will be presenting some reflections from the Quran. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. My name is Abdullah. I'm in, from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm in second grade. Today I will talk about Surah Humaza. Let's begin. Bismillah. First, I will recite Surah Al Humaza. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wailul likulli humazati lumaza. Alladhi jama'a malaw wa'addada. Yahsabu anna malahu akhladah. Kalla la yumbazanna fil hutama. Wa ma adraka mal hutama. نار الله المنقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة. Let's know the meaning of Surah Al-Humaza. Woe to every slanderer and backbiter who has gathered wealth and counted it. He thinks that his wealth will make him last forever. Not at all. Verily, he will be thrown into the crushing fire. And what will make you know what the crushing fire is, is Allah's kindled fire, which rages over the heart. It will be sealed over them, tightly secured with long braces. Let's know the basics of the surah. Surah Al-Humaza is the 104th surah of the Quran, and the meaning is the slanderer. This surah is a Makki surah. There are in total nine verses in this surah. This surah is named after the word humaza from the first ayah. Wailul likulli humazati lumaza. The main message of this surah is to condemn backbiters or those who slander others, whether it is by speech or by action. Allah also reminds his believers not to fall in love with their wealth and get concerned only about money. It will never give you immortality. And remember that in the end, your return will be to Allah. Main points of this surah are, Allah talks about three kinds of people. Who slander, that means who say bad words to people. Who backbite all the time. Allah never liked those type of people. Who gather wealth and come their wealth. All the time. Don't slander, but be nice to others. People might get hurt. We should always use good words to people. Whatever we say, angels record our deeds. Allah says in Surah Qaf, مَا يَلْفِدُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Which means a vigilant angel write down every word we utter. Allah will ask us about that. So we must be careful while using words. So, don't backbite. Allah also doesn't like people who backbite, meaning who speak absent, meaning who speak bad words in absence of someone. Backbiting is one of the dangerous sins in Islam. In Surah Husrat, Allah says, "Don't backbite others." It is like eating flesh of your dead brother. So we should not, we should not find faults with others and spread them in their absence. Well should not be our focus of life. The purpose of life should never be only gathering wealth. Some people are too much excited about money. Do you know, some people just earn money and run after wealth and wealth, but they don't use that money for helping the poor and orphans. Also, some people do not think about giving to the poor, and that is sad to hear because our Prophet wasallam was an orphan, and we must try to help the orphan and poor if we can. Hellfire is waiting for those wealth seekers. If we slander and backbite, if our goal is to gather wealth and focus only on wealth, if we think that our money will make us immortal and powerful, 
then Hellfire is, is our destination. So, what should we do? We should avoid slandering and backbiting. Wealth should never be our only goal in life. Our goal should be Allah's love, mercy, and satisfaction. We should follow Allah's commands and our Prophet's instructions. We should always be careful while using words. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me. May Allah increase our knowledge. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan Abdullah for presenting such important lessons from the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from such bad activities. Now it's time for Nasheed. Nasheed will be presented by Nabiha Iqbal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Nabiha. I'm in second grade and I live in California. Today I'm going to say a sonic Nasheed. Rabbi mani holo. He am our proti palo. Zidani mani holo. Piti kore dao. Alma mani holo. Alma zirgen. He proti palo kamargen dabarao. He proti palo kamargen dabarao. Rabbi zidani alma. Rabbi. Rabbi zidni alma, Rabbi zidni alma. Priti shukti parito, hi malik hi holik al wahab. Tisri shukti tikon akuru, hi muhammad hi anat tawab. On to indis tere dar kule dau, o shanto mon ki shanto. He proti palo kamar genta barao. He proti palo kamar genta barao. Rabbi zidni alma. Rabbi zidni alma. Rabbi zidni alma. Chichani, chichani na. Shobai ki ara ki hoi. Jazakumullahu khairan Nabiha for such a beautiful nashi. We know from Surah Mujadila part of verse 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the level of people in two ways, belief in him and knowledge of him. Seeking knowledge and fard is fard and it will save us from the hellfire. May Allah increase our useful knowledge. Now we will listen to spoken words from Mithahul Jannat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mehtahul Jannat. I'm in second grade. I'm from Michigan. Today, I would like to say a poem. The poem name is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When truth was lost and hearts frozen from you, Allah, 
came a prophet chosen, blessed prophet Muhammad, who been to you, taught us the things we ought to do. He taught us for certain that you are one, and that you have a, have a daughter and your son. He taught us to be good to our mother and father, and that paradise lies under the feet of our mother. I love you, my prophet, and sing your praise, and follow your sunnah prophetic ways. One day I'll come visit your tomb, inshallah, that day will be very soon. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan miftahu jannat for your beautiful presentation. Muslim Ummah of North America presents Muna Children. This department helps children to develop character, self-consciousness, and dignity as Muslims. In Muna Children's department, we provide knowledge of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Children are educated during monthly, bi-weekly, and weekly halakas, and given the opportunity to express themselves through a variety of competitions. In addition, a host of cultural, environmental, and social activities are organized to supplement children's growth. Our focus is on students enrolled in elementary school. By enrolling your children, you are providing them with a positive environment to learn Islamic values and develop wholesome, virtuous friendships with other children their age. Muna Children nurtures these kids during these delicate years of their lives to ensure the production of excellent citizens of the future. This work is divided into six zones throughout the United States of America. The zones are South Zone, North Zone, East Zone, West Zone, New York North Zone, and New York South Zone. These zones are further divided into smaller localities to ensure maximum convenience to families. Currently, we have 110 children's sections. We are continuously expanding to reach every corner of this country and touch the hearts of as many families as possible. Rahman, ya Rahman, saadni, ya Rahman. For more information, visit www.muslimummah.org or you may dial us at 718-277-7900. In addition, you may mail us at 1033 Glenmore Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11208. Welcome back. Alhamdulillah, we enjoyed a nice video presenting a quick snapshot on the WA activities from Muna Children Department. Now I would like to request Ahnaf Ali to present a speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Ahnaf Ali. I am in fourth grade. I am from Jamaica, New York. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Nahmaduhu nusalli ala rasulihil kareem. Amma bad. 
my honorable audience, respected brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today I will give a speech about the duties of children to their parents. Children have responsibilities and duties towards the parents in return for the education, expenses, and protection that the parents gave them for infancy until adolescence and even later on. These duties, which are the basic rights of parents, must include being dutiful to parents and obeying them. Being dutiful to parents means showing them kindness. It does not mean repelling to them any word of content like oath to express annoyance or impatience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبُلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبْرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُكْفِرْ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا which means your Lord has commanded that you should worship none but him and show kindness to your parents. Whether one or both of them had reached old age while with you, say not to them so much as of and do not rebuke them, but always speak gently to them. Surah Isra, Ayah 23. This obedience to parents is described as ingratitude and this is one of the major sins in Islam. In a hadith, the Prophet Wasallam said, the major sons are associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and join in gratitude to parents. In other hadiths, it was reported that the Prophet also said, Parents are the middle door of paradise. If you so wish, you can profit it, and if you so wish, you can maintain it. And paradise lies beneath the feet of mothers. Showing humility and gratitude to parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَاخْفِضُ لَهُ مَا جَلَاحَ الذُّلِّي مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ وَقُرْ رَبِّ رَحَمْهُ مَا كَبَا رَبَّ يَعْنِي صَغِيرًا Which means that treat them with humbleness and turn their nurse and say, Lord, be merciful to them both as they raised me up when I was little. Children must show humility, respect, and compassion to their parents. Beautifulness to parents takes perseverance over jihad for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that service to parents is better than jihad for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows how important filial dutifulness is. In a hadith, the Prophet wasallam had an incident with a man. A man came to the Prophet wasallam and asked permission for to take part in jihad. Then the Prophet wasallam asked him, are your parents alive? He replied, yes, they are. Then the Prophet wasallam told him, then put yourself in their service. Al-Bukhari. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to make dua for our parents. May Allah give us tawfiq to respect our parents by the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakumullahu khairan ahna for such an important speech. So it is crystal clear that obeying and honoring our parents is a means of entering paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to both ourselves and our parents to fulfill our own duties so that we can be all together in Jannah insha'Allah. Now it's time for another nasheed. This nasheed will be presented by Faiza Buyan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Faiza Buyan. I'm in fourth grade and I'm coming from Brooklyn, New York. Today I'm going to be singing an Arabic nasheed called Rahman Ya Rahman. Rahman Ya Rahman, Sa'adini Ya Rahman. Ishrah sadri Qur'an, imla qalbi Qur'an, wasi hayati Qur'an. Rahman ya Rahman, sa'adni ya Rahman, ishrah sadri Qur'an, imla qalbi Qur'an. 
واس لحياتي قرآن رحمن رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن املأ قلبي قرآن واس لحياتي قرآن لله لله يا فو أمالي لله ولحفظ كتاب الله من أول بسم الله للختم وللردوان رحمن يا رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن املأ قلبي قرآن واس لحياتي قرآن رحمن يا رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن املأ قلبي قرآن واس لحياتي قرآن يا نور يا نور يا محكم يا تنزيل لمحمد عن جبريل من رب الأرش دليل للعالم والإنسان تكبير تكبير للحافظ وهو صغير والطاعين يا كريم يملو فجر الليوليل في تلاوته الأكوار رحمن يا رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن املأ قلبي قرآن واس لحياتي قرآن رحمن يا رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن املأ قلبي قرآن واس لحياتي قرآن الله الله اللهم اجمعنا في كتابك والفانا وجعله لنا حسنا وهدى ابدا وما رحمن رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قران املا قلبي قران واس لحياتي قران رحمن يا رحمن رحمن يا رحمن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خيرا فايزا for such an amazing نشيد Let's enjoy a drama. Drama will be presented by Asifur Rahman, Habiba Tasneem, and Zainur Rahman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Asifur Rahman, 5th grade. I am Habiba Tasneem, 2nd grade. I am Zainur Rahman. We are from New York. Today we will present a short drama, inshallah. Every day students pass by the security guard, but there is one girl who always says salam to the security guard whenever she enters. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam, alhamdulillah, I'm fine. And leaves from the school. One day the students entered the school as usual.
At the end of the day, all the students left school, but the girl did not come out. The security guard wondered what happened to the girl. I saw that girl come into school this morning, but I didn't see her come out yet. I think something went wrong, but let me go check. No, she's not here. Then he checks the classroom. Then he checks the cafeteria. No, she's not here either. Where is that girl? I can't find her. Where is she? No, help! I'm stuck inside here! Help! help. Oh! Help. I hear somebody shouting from the bathroom. Don't worry, now you're safe. From this story, we learn that whoever says salam gets reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in Surah An-Nisa, verse 86, When you are greeted with a greeting, greet it in return with what is better than it, or return it equally. Certainly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever a careful account taker of all things. Thus the Prophet, peace be upon him, explained that this salam spreads love and brotherhood. Muslim narrated from Abu Hurairah an, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, You will not enter paradise until you believe, and you will not believe until you love one another. Shall I not tell you something of which, if you do it, you will love one another? Spread salam amongst yourselves. A man asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, what is the best thing in Islam? He said, treating others and giving the greeting of salam to those whom you know and to those whom you do not know. Jazakallah khairan. as alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, what an important lesson we learned from this drama. We know from Sahih al-Bukhari that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is best in their behavior. Next, we will enjoy a poem from Rumaisa Ansari. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Rumaisa Ansari from Jamaica, New York, and I'm in third grade. Inshallah, today I'll be reciting a poem called Firdaus Ishur by H. L. Banna. Bochkalo iya arubeer buri chuti chete pantor, ashite se na ki ek jakat bhayong kor. Moru shudje rutal tapis hoyi se tonur kham, moni moni chope bir bir kuri lat utjannam. হাতিতে হাতিতে ক্লান্ত চয়ন হঠাৎ থামিয়া যায় আরো কত পথ হাতিতে হইবে ব্যাকুল সে ভাবনায় পেছন হইতে কে যেন ডাকিল হালকা নরম স্বরে ঘুরাইয়া ঘাড় হাসিতে দেখিল তরুণের মুখ ভরে জননী আপনি যাইবেন কোথা জিজ্ঞাসিল তরুণ দেখিয়া বুঝিল ভারী বোঝা বইয়ে বুড়ির অবস্থা করুন কাপা কাপা হাতে দেখা এলো বুড়ি দূরের সীমানা ছায়া হাসিয়া তরুণ বোঝা বোঝে লয় মুখে প্রশান্ত মায়া হাঁটিতে হাঁটিতে বহু দূর পথে জানিতে চাইয়া হেতু বুড়ির চোখে আতঙ্ক ভরা শঙ্কার ধুমকেতু কে জানে কাদের মারিতেছে আজ মোহাম্মদের দল কার সম্পদ লুটিয়া পুটিয়া করিতেছে দখল অবশেষে তারা পৌঁছাইল অবিষ্ট মঞ্জিলে তরুণের তরে অবাক মায়া বুড়ি নরম দিলে এত পথ ধরে নিজ হাতে করে বহির পরের বোঝা এই ছেলে এক সোনার টুকরা বুঝি আছে বুড়ি সোজা নাও বাবা বলে হাতে দিল তার খুরমা খেজুর পানি জানা হইল না পরিচয় তবু আনি আছে বোঝা ডানি তরুণ হাসিয়া কহিল জননী আমি মোহাম্মদ সারা পথ ধরে যার কথা তুমি কহিয়াছো শুধু পথ 
বিস্ফোরিত নয়নে তাকাইয়া বুড়ি চোখে জল কেন তবে তার ডাকাত কহিল কহিল বদের দল আজ যদি তব দেখা নাহি হতো মরুর পথের ধারে কি করিয়া আমি চিনিতাম এই আলোর পাহাড়টারে জনম ধরিয়া বুঝিতাম ভুল বুঝাইয়াছে যাহা লোকে অন্ধকারে কাটাইয়া দিতাম চেনা হইত না তোকে বাবা যারা বলে যে ওনাকো ওই অন্ধকারের ধারে তা তো কভু দেখলো না তোর আলোর নদীটারে ইমান আনিয়া আরবের বুড়ি হইল মুসলমান এমন আলোই কত মানুষের আলোকিত হয় প্রাণ সেই বুড়ি আজ দেখিয়াছি আমি আমার চতুর পাশে না জানিয়া তারা পালায় বেড়ায় হিনা জমিন চাষে একবার যদি জানিত তাহারা এই বুকে কত নূর বাঁধ ভাঙাসতে গাহিত তাহারা পেট দাও সে সুর ধন্যবাদ আসসালামু আলাইকুম আহমদুল্লাহ for your beautiful presentation. Now we will enjoy one more nasheed, inshallah. The nasheed will be presented by Fahmida Hussain. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Fahmida Hussain. I'm in fourth grade and I am from Michigan. And today I'll be singing a Islamic nasheed. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyumil akhiri wa lukadri khairihi wa sharrihi billah wa albaqti bada almaw la ilaha illa allah amantu billahi wa malaikatihi মোহাম্মদ রসুর It is believing in Allah, uh, in the messengers, the angels and the final day, and the holy sculptures. And to believe in destiny, the good and bad will come from him. And in the receptors, there's no God but Allah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi Wa kutubihi wa rasulihi Wa liyumil akhiri Wa al-qadri khairihi wa sharrihi Min Allah Wa al-baqsi bad al-maw La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Allah is the creator of heaven and of earth Nothing may compare with him He is the one alone The prophet best of human cousin to all nations and I'll try bless of all Muhammad mercy to the world la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyumil akhiri Wal-qadri khairihi wa sharrihi bin Allah Wal-baqti bada al-maw La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Jazakallah khairan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh
warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan fahmida for such a melodious nasheed. We have almost reached the end of today's cultural program, alhamdulillah. I would like to say salam to all of you. Thank you all for joining us and inspiring us. And special thanks to all the participants who brought this wonderful program together for us. Jazakumullahu khairan. May Allah accept all our efforts. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.